You know, another disheartening piece of news is actually uh, Nobuhiro Watsuki was recently, you know, convicted of a uh, child porn possession, but his sentence was that he only has to pay a fine of 200,000 yen, which is only about 1,900 US dollars. So, considering his crime, it's hard not to feel miffed about how light he's getting off here. It's really a slap on the wrist. And considering that possession of child porn in Japan can lead to an imprisonment of up to one year and a maximum fine of 8800 like, it seems Waski really got off light here, considering, you know, what the punishment should have been. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he served any kind of jail time, I guess, which is kind of unfortunate. Yeah, and what's bad about this especially is that, you know, it just sets a very bad precedent for how situations like this will be treated in the future. Like, if they had taken a stand against Watsky and really punished him, you know, that would send a good message that this kind of behavior will not and should not be tolerated. But by just giving him a slap on the wrist, it kind of mitigates the severity of what he did. And it creates this worrying fear that he might come back from this and continue to work. Because it's not a fine, it's not a fine that can hurt him at all, really. I don't think it would. So it's just very, very disappointing. Yeah, I really can't help but feel like it's because of the legacy he has, what with Kenshin and some of his other works that, well, let's be honest, probably mostly Kenshin, um, that he got off so easily, which is disappointing. And I mean, at the very least, like if he's not going to serve any jail time, I really don't want him to get hired back. I don't really think, I don't think he deserves any more work. And I'm, I mean, I'm certainly not going to, I mean, my, my feelings on Kenshin aside, like, I still like Kenshin, even though, you know, I'm one of those people who, you know, it, it's it's unfortunate, because I, I was actually thinking about doing a reread of Kenshin, like, before all of this happened, and then all of this did happen, and it just kind of soured any, it, it basically erased any desire I had to reread it, because, unfortunately, like most people, like, I can't, I'm not going to be able to revisit Kenshin without having this in the back of my mind. And it's just, it's it's going to take from my experience trying to revisit the series, which is unfortunate. Because that, 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 like, what he did is always going to be there, which really sucks. And because, you know, I like like most others, I really liked his work. And but, you know, if there if there comes a time where Shueisha may or may not, unfortunately, you know, give him more work, I'm definitely not going to support it because... Now that I know he spends most of his money on this kind of stuff, I just, I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, I agree. It's a sad situation all around. 